Hey, what's going on guys? This is Keel Dyke and we're back again today with the Orange Pi Zero 2W. A lot of you have been asking for a base build for this. This will be available sometime soon. I'm thinking probably by the end of the week. But I'm here today to give you a first look at the emulation capabilities for this. I know many of you were looking for uh, some type of gaming front end and also sound as well as uh, some additional GPU support. So let's go ahead and log in here. I've been actually playing with this for a little bit. Let's see, emulation station. Let's go ahead and log back in. And uh, the temps I've been running on this runs about 72 degrees. However, in my case, uh, if you guys watched my previous video, I've had it running. And right now my temps are astronomical. They're about 82 degrees. So I gotta find another heat sink or possibly fan for this. But for now, I do have a few games loaded on here. We have Arcade and also some NES games and Dreamcast. So been tinkering around with this. I don't think Dreamcast and maybe some of the PlayStation games may not be too suitable. Um, just a quick review as far as some of the specs for this Orange Pi Zero 2W. Uh, remember that this is equivalent to a Raspberry Pi 3B Plus in certain aspects. However, it is using an all winter chip and I don't think that we're getting the performance uh, it's not a one-to-one -one situation where you would get the performance of the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus because Dreamcast typically runs fine uh, on a Raspberry Pi 5. I'm sorry, on a Raspberry Pi 3B Plus uh, for some of the games. But I'm getting a lot of hiccup here, just even Marvel vs. Capcom 2. So uh, I'm going to walk you guys through some of the settings, just show you what I do have loaded. I have played Super Mario Brothers as well as a few other games. Uh, I wanted to take it back down to the basics just to make sure that some of this basic stuff is working. All of that works, and so if you guys are planning on using this for gaming, uh, this will be really good for, like, say, uh, the GRS build a case, your GPI case. I believe this should work with the GPI case because it's the same form factor, but this is extremely low profile, and this unit only costs about $17. Considering this only costs $17, and then with the module, it ran me $25. I mean, it's really a no brainer if you're just looking into getting into some basic retro gaming. So here we have some Nintendo ROMs here. And on the right, you can see the video snaps. They're a little choppy, they're a little laggy. I put this on here to show this to you guys because typically the Zero series, they don't run this kind of stuff too well. However, that possibly could change with that new right access to Zero uh, coming out pretty soon. But I believe that one's like $160. I don't know if I'm doing that kind of thing for something of the same form factor. But uh, all this stuff works. I just got the basic carbon theme on here. So again, some of these games do work. Um, as far as some of the settings for the controller, uh, I had to go to UDEV. Uh, with usually with RetroPie on a Raspberry Pi unit, uh, you have a different type of subset controls. But uh, if you watch my Orange Pi 5 video and controller fix, I go into that in a little bit more detail. But uh, your buttons are gonna be a little bit different. So for example, if I wanna start a game, I have to press in on my Elite Controller joystick on the, which would typically be like L3 or R3 uh, in order to uh, add a credit. So I wanna show you guys some of the configurations. You got your Bluetooth, the Bluetooth does work as well as the Wi-Fi. You got your configuration editor, your file manager, RetroArch, RetroPie setup. Uh, you got your show IP and then of course we have the Orange Pie configuration. So let's take a look at this here. I've spent some time on this with the Orange Pi 5B. So this allows you to change your IP address, activate Bluetooth, your Wi-Fi. It's a little different than what you guys would be used to in regards to Ras uh, Raspbian uh, config with RetroPie. So you can adjust your time zone. You have your system and third party installer. And that's pretty much it that is uh, there. We also have your show IP uh, option here. So. I will put out a base for this again, probably here the next few days. I'll try to see if I can leave it around maybe 32, maybe 64 gigabytes and you guys can kind of do it uh, however you want with this. Now, in order to get this, obviously we're rolling this out first for Patreons and subscribers and whatnot. That's just how I roll right now. Uh, there, there may be a public available av availability build for this in the future, but uh, again, the base was made by the Supreme Team. Uh, we got the equipment. I'd actually intended on using this for something else. Uh, that something else didn't uh, work out the way that I thought it would, and so I uh, decided to go ahead and venture off into retro gaming and see what we could do with this. But 
all in all, this is a you know slim form profile single board computer. Uh, I don't know or if there's a lot of development with this. We've reached out to the Armbian team in regards to some other Orange Pi stuff. Not sure if any of that stuff would be uh, usable here. But if you're looking for something extremely low profile, just to play some of your games all the way up from, let's say, Atari to, uh, I want to say, maybe PlayStation, then I guess this would be fine. I'm going to go ahead and load as many emulators on here as possible. I don't have everything loaded on here uh, right now, but I really hope that you guys enjoy something like this. And of course, I'll probably have a couple of more updates in regards to this. But, uh, but other than that, I don't intend to spend too much time on this image or on this build uh, going on the future. We know that we have uh, my new X1 here. I'm going to do some development on that. And then, of course, we also have the Raspberry Pi 5 that's coming out. A lot of us are still looking to get our hands on that. But, you know, if, again, this is a cheap, low-cost solution. I know there's not a lot of development out there for it, so we wanted to put out something there for the community uh, for you guys to at least get a better idea about what this thing can possibly emulate. So uh, I'm going to put some N64 on here. And other than that, I hope you guys enjoy your great day. Uh, everything here is fun. Everything here is going good. Uh, like and subscribe, and I will be back with some more updates uh, to keep you guys uh, informed about some of the things that are going on. So with that being said, you guys all have a great day. I will catch you all later. Peace out. Bye-bye.